Hi everyone, here's the book chemist once again. Today I'm reviewing Death Valley, Melissa Brothers' latest novel. A wonderful exploration of mourning and depression, of the limits of human empathy, both empathy for our own selves and for our loved ones, set within the frame of a, a story of survival in the desert. I was a huge fan of Brothers the Pieces when it came out. I thought it was a marvelously unique and original novel that spoke about love and lust and confusion in ways that were disarmingly honest, uh, truly insightful, but never morbid. In fact, the Pishes, uh, one of its great selling points is that it's laugh out loud funny. The very same is true of Death Valley, which is almost paradoxical. A book this funny should have no, no right to be so insightful. And a book that can speak in such uh, enlightening terms about those moments, for instance, when we, ca we just cannot help but be enraged at our loved ones, even while we know that they are suffering. Those moments when, when we pester our ailing parents because we want to get a strong reaction out of them. A book that can talk about these topics so naturally should not be this light-hearted and enjoyable. The framing narrative for the novel, while it's secondary to Brothers' magnificent spelunking into the depths of the human mind and the human heart, is by no means needless and superfluous. And, as I mentioned, it focuses uh, on a, a woman's journey into the desert that very soon turns more surreal and more dangerous than she had anticipated. The supernatural elements in Death Valley are handled as naturally, or the irony, uh, and with as much simplicity as they were in uh, The Pishes. They support the story without ever hijacking it. Uh, as a lukewarm but helpless taxonomist, I wouldn't call Death Valley a fantasy novel, but it's definitely trippy and it's very surreal. Brother digs so deep into her character's chest that she ends up reaching uh, a bit further down too into her guts, and both P and Poo actually provide um, quite significant plot points uh, in the novel. The novel is actually fairly self-conscious about this, uh, saying that bodily functions should have more of a place in fiction, and I agree, because they are a crucial part of, of the human experience, uh, and they take up a lot of the energy that our bodies expend on a daily basis, and uh, if, like me, you, you experience your share of toilet anxiety, they take up quite a, quite a lot of our mental uh, energy too. I wouldn't say that Death Valley is an especially ambitious novel, but that actually makes its greatness shine all the brighter. Uh, usually to find this degree of candidness and openness about the, the basest short failings of the human race, you have to look for it in uh, sprawling historical family sagas uh, that involve murderous passions and great affairs and usually one or two burning mansions. Instead, here, all of these sentiments are explored in a fairly simple package. The story of a woman who is coping with her own problems, with her career difficulties, uh, with her own longings, while at the same time coping with a sick husband and a dying father. The novel explores the basest, but also the brightest, um, human feelings through this very natural and, and, and very, very relatable package. Death Valley is truly a great novel. I'll just have to read Milk Fed, which is my missing brother novel, and I definitely recommend you read Death Valley when it comes out, which is uh, in early October 2023 in the US, uh, late October in the UK. Thanks so much for watching the review. I do uh, encourage you to pick the novel up. If you're brother fans too, let me know what you what you thought of that valley, um, um, what you thought of the pieces and milk fed. Uh, and thanks so much to Bloomsbury for my review copy and to my patrons for supporting the YouTube channel. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.